So now we'll solve complete elliptic integral of first kind. Complete elliptic integral of first kind is expressed as fk and it will be this integral from 0 to pi by 2 d theta upon under root of 1 minus k square sine square theta where the value of k lies between 0 and 1. Now what we'll do is we'll write this as this integral from 0 to pi by 2 1 minus k square sin square theta to the power minus 1 by 2 into d theta. Now we will use Banimal expansion of 1 minus k square sin square theta to the power minus 1 by 2. Now we can write this as this integral from 0 to pi by 2 and then this summation m varies from 0 to infinite since this is negative and fractional power, this expansion will go up to infinite terms and then it will be minus 1 by 2 cm minus 1 to the power m k to the power 2m into sin to the power 2m theta d theta. Now we can write this as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite minus 1 by 2 cm minus 1 to the power m k to the power 2 m and then this integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 2 m theta d theta. Now first we will simplify this expression which is minus 1 by 2 cm using gamma function. Now ncm is factorial n factorial m factorial n minus n. Now we know that factorial n is gamma n plus 1. So we can write this as this gamma 1 by 2 upon we write this factorial m as factorial m itself and here it will be gamma 1 by 2 minus m. So we will write this minus 1 by 2 cm as gamma half upon factorial m gamma 1 by 2 minus m. And then we will come to this integral part. We will solve this integral part using beta function. Now we know that beta function is this integral from 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 2 alpha minus 1 theta into sin to the power 2 beta minus 1 theta d theta. Now this is equal to gamma alpha into gamma beta upon gamma alpha plus beta and basically we have this 2 times so we will write this 2 here. So this cos 2 alpha minus 1 theta into sin 2 beta minus 1 theta d theta this integral from 0 to pi by 2 will be equal to gamma alpha into gamma beta upon 2 times gamma alpha plus beta. Now we need to find integral of sin to the power 2 m theta. So what we will do is we will replace alpha with 1 by 2 and beta with m plus 1 by 2. So if we put alpha as 1 by 2 it will be cos to the power 0 which is 1. And here it will be sine to the power 2m theta. So value of this integral from 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 2m theta d theta it will be equal to gamma half into gamma m plus 1 by 2 upon 2 times gamma m plus 1 and gamma m plus 1 is nothing but factorial m. So it will be this gamma half into gamma m plus 1 by 2 divided by 2 into factorial m. Now we will put the value of 1 by 2 cm and this integral in this equation. So we can write this fk as 
this summation m varies from 0 to infinite minus 1 to the power m and then minus 1 by 2 cm it will be gamma half upon factorial m gamma half minus m and then this integral sine to the power 2 m theta it will be equal to gamma half gamma m plus 1 by 2 and this is 2 into factorial m into k to the power 2m. Now we already know gamma half is under root pi. So this gamma half square will be simply pi. So we can write this as this summation m varies from 0 to infinite minus 1 to the power m pi gamma m plus 1 by 2 into k to the power 2 m upon 2 times factorial m square into gamma 1 by 2 minus m. Now there is this one result in gamma functions which we need at this point of time and the result is gamma z into gamma 1 minus z it is equal to pi upon sine pi z. Now we'll use this result to simplify this gamma expression. Now we can write gamma 1 by 2 plus m into gamma and here it is 1 minus z. So it will be this 1 by 2 minus m and it will be equal to pi upon m sine pi and here z is m plus 1 by 2. So what we will do is we will put the value of gamma half minus m then we can write this fks this summation m varies from 0 to infinite minus 1 to the power m into pi. Now here if we put this expression then it will be this sine pi m plus 1 by 2 into this gamma m plus 1 by 2 whole square k to the power 2 m upon 2 times factorial m square into pi. Now this pi and pi it will cancel. Now if you look at this sign m pi plus pi by 2. So this sign m pi plus pi by 2 it will be minus 1 to the power m into sin pi by 2 and sin pi by 2 is 1. So it will be this minus 1 to the power m. Now minus 1 to the power m into minus 1 to the power m it will be minus 1 to the power 2 m. Basically it will be simply 1. So we can write this fks, this summation m varies from 0 to infinite. Now this is 1 and here we have gamma m plus 1 by 2 whole square into k to the power 2 m upon 2 times factorial m square. Now here we need one more result from gamma functions and the result is 2 to the power m gamma half plus m upon under root pi it is equal to this double factorial 2m minus 1. Now this double factorial is not factorial of 2m minus 1, double factorial simply means it is product of all the odd numbers 1, 3, 5 up to 2m minus 1. So the result is we can write this gamma 1 by 2 plus m as under root pi upon 2 to the power m into double factorial 2m minus 1. Now if we put this here we can write this as
f k equals this summation m varies from 0 to infinite and here it will be this under root pi into double factorial to m minus 1 upon 2 to the power m and then into factorial m whole square and we also have this 1 by 2 into k to the power of 2m. Now this under root pi square is pi by 2 so we can write this as pi by 2 into this summation m varies from 0 to infinite and this is double factorial 2m minus 1 and the denominator if we look at this this is 2 to the power m into factorial m which is 1 into 2 into 3 up to m and if you multiply everything with 2 there will be this 2 4 6 up to 2m which is basically double factorial of 2m that means we are talking about product of all the even numbers in from 2 to 2m and this square into k to the power 2m and this is the solution of elliptic integral of first kind we can write it in expanded form also so we can write this fk which actually is this integral from 0 to pi by 2 d theta upon under root of 1 minus k square sin square theta it will be equal to pi by 2 now if we put m as 0 then this is 1 and this is 1 and k to the power 0 is 1 so it will be this 1 and then plus now if m is 1 here this is factorial 1 factorial 1 is 1 and here it is factorial 2 so it will be this 1 by 2 square and then into k square plus now if we take m as 2 then this is double factorial 3 and double factorial 3 is 1 into 3 upon and this is double factorial 4 which is 2 into 4 square into k to the power 4 and then this series will continue up to infinite. So this is how we solve complete elliptic integral of the first kind.